Hi folks, it's Max from uh, DroidRazorRoot.com um, So finally, sorry about uh, not updating my site often um, One of the reasons is kind of development was kind of slow and uh, I've been trying a lot of ROMs but they were not really that stable but uh, I finally found a ROM that I recommend uh, It's a full throttle killer bean AOKP ROM here um, This is a actually jelly bean ROM here and uh, you're gonna love it because it comes with the latest uh, Android 4.1.2 and 3G and 4G works. Uh, one of the things, first thing you will want to do uh, when you install it, just let it sit for a while um, to get data. If you have trouble getting data, go to mobile networks and try switching this to LTE CDMA. Um, let it sit for like a minute or two, and then switch it back to LTE CDMA EDVO uh, GSM WCDMA. And then you'll be able to get 4G LTE, 3G, everything should be working. A uh, very, very solid ROM. I'm very impressed. Um, let me show you this. So, this is a great time to upgrade. And I've got tired of running all of those Moto ICS. I hate this. I just hate it. Um, unless you just like it. Uh, of course, with this one, you'll probably lose the uh, webtop feature because this is a, you know, obviously a Android Jelly Bean ROM built from the sources but love it Android 4.1.2 uh, and uh, I've tested Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything's working, Netflix is working um, so very good daily driver and uh, uh, there's if there's one thing I can say um, something wrong with this ROM is that the flash uh, doesn't work while you take cameras as you can see my flash is on um, so flash doesn't work otherwise it's perfect flawless um, also the LED does work if you use the camera uh, let me show you that you'll see the camera now it's working so that's the only thing that's not working flawless uh, but definitely this is like the ROM for your droid razor uh, I'm sure many of you probably don't mind that as long as you're running the latest jelly bean um, Android 4.1.2 and also you know you get the Jelly Bean animations and also um, Google Now if you want uh, let's try that again so if you hold down the menu button you'll get Google Now now you'll be able to get Google Cards and uh, I'm definitely sure I'm definitely sure Motorola is never going to update to Jelly Bean so this might be a great way to get your phone updated to Jelly Bean. Even if they do, it's going to be like another six months, and then, you know, it's time to buy a new phone then. <laughs> but great. San Francisco Giants score. The Giants lost to the Cardinals. No, that's not good. Um, so, very good. 3G working, uh, GPS working, AOKP settings. For those of you who've never tried AOKP ROM, uh, let me walk you through the AOKP ROM control settings so you go to settings um, go to ROM control and uh, you can mess with all this let me kind of uh, recommend some of the things um, change your custom carrier label to uh, whatever your favorite thing is like high on Android you know alright oh let's just psst, whatever we'll, we'll just want to do it uh, and also alright some other show notification count that's kinda cool it will show the num actual number of counts kill all button this is great uh, you can kill all of your apps make sure you hit grant hold back to kill so that's great I'll show you all of those allow 180 degree rotation LCD density you can change it so you get you know um, you can get more dots per inch so you make it like 160 your 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 screen's going to get like really small if you make it larger you make it larger if you have really bad eyes um i wouldn't actually really mess with it that much though so 180 degree rotation is not working uh oh all right it's not working sorry <laughs> that's not working uh but hold back to kill should work so is it rotation yeah yeah rotation works for Oh, you know what? It's just it's just the home screen. Everything else is work. So that's what it is. And also, you can kill back a whole back to kill. That's the option we chose earlier. And now, let's say you got a bunch of apps running and uh, you want to kill it all. Uh, hold down the home button. Now you got the kill all button there. All right. So let's go back to the system settings, ROM control. Let me show you some of more of the stuff. 
So general UI, we've covered all of that. Um, oh, I forgot this one. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go to lock screen and uh, some of these options. One of the options I use often is uh, volume music controls for those of you music heads. Weather widget, I really love this. Um, weather panel. And also calendar I use often. You can choose uh, to pull from your Gmail calendar, change the time range, all of this stuff. I don't have uh, any calendar to do stuff on my account here, so you won't see it. And let's see if that pulled up our weather widget. No, not yet. You have to do additional settings. Um, lock screen also, here we go. You can change the uh, targets, I think. Where is it? Oh, it's somewhere. Let's keep going. Power menu. Um, you can add additional power stuff. Navigation bar. You're going to add soft buttons like a Galaxy Nexus if you want additional buttons. Battery clock. Toggles. Toggles. Um, toggles. Enable toggles. You can change uh, different toggles like add LT toggle. That way you can save battery life. Uh, let's see. Signal. Nah, that's kind of boring. LED. Uh, let me see if this works. You can test the LED. Turn it off. Oh, there we go. See that LED? So you can change the LED. Um, select the app. You can choose different apps here. Add different apps. Let's say I want to add one for. Choose, choose the top one. That's the applications. For some reason, it's not showing up. And uh, let's choose Gmail. And LED on for, let's say, like. Eight seconds and uh, LED off for point two. Um, so you can test that. I just want to make it long so you can kind of see. Well, it's kind of working. I'm not sure why it's, it's colors. Color is weird. Um, so you can mess with that. The LED. It's gonna change the LED up there. Sound. Uh, more options for sound. Um, weather. There we go. This is where you gotta enable it. Actually, you have to set custom location. I'm gonna set it to, let's say, Seoul, Korea. Because I know the weather here. What's the point of having a weather widget when I'm here? <laughs> I see it. Well, you know. Uh, refresh. Interval. I'm gonna set it to one minute so it shows up real quick. And vibrations performance. Um, this is where you can uh, change the performance. I don't mess, uh, advise you to mess with it because you can't really overclock it. You can underclock it. It doesn't matter. Um, I wouldn't really touch it. So that's about it. Let's go look at the weather widget real quick. Well, it's it hasn't updated. Once it updates, you'll see the weather up there. And also, if you have calendar, it'll show up right under there too. Uh, but pretty flawless ROM. Love it. Very very fast. I'm gonna give you Jelly Bean like right now. Go install it. To install this ROM, uh, you will need to be on ICS. So if you're on ICS and you root it um, and you used uh, ICS Safe Strap, you're all good to go. As long as you're on ICS, you're all good to go. Don't try to install it if you're still on Gingerbread. Um, if you're on Gingerbread, you should upgrade to the official ICS first. Just do that once, and then you'll be able to install this ROM with Safe Strap. Um, so love it. Uh, battery life should be fair. If you're having trouble with battery life, um, do make use of the the 4G LTE option. Um, you can turn it off. Another way to actually toggle a 4G LTE manually is go to mobile networks. And if you set LTE CDMA, oh no no, if you set it to CDMA EDVO auto, this will set it to 3G. Now let me explain. Let me set it to there, and you'll see that bar going from three, uh, 4G to 3G. Let me explain what, what these actually mean um, so you get it. Now I'm on 3G. It's going to save battery life. Um, so for voice, you need uh, basically, well, CDMA EDVO is, EDVO is like 1X. It's like 2G. CDMA is 3G, all right? And also LTE is basically 4G. So if you set it to LTE only, you're not going to get any kind of uh, Voice, you're only gonna get data on LTE, so don't don't use that. And also LTE CDMA, um, I think that will still give you data. I'm not sure, but uh, 
The only options you should really mess with is the LTE CDMA EDVO GSM slash WCDMA and CDMA EDVO Auto. Um, so that will toggle you between 4G LTE and 3G. So I, I'm on 3G now. Oh no, no, I went back to 4G now. Yeah. So that's how you can change it. And let's go back to 3G again. And uh, there you go. You can save battery life that way. And also you can underclock it in the performance settings. Let me show you that while that's kind of working by itself. So I'm on 3G. Um, go back to ROM control. If you want to save really a lot of battery life, uh, this ROM runs really fast on Jelly Bean. It's going to run like at least 20-30% faster than your um, your crappy old Moto Moto OS. So set it through like a thousand, and your phone will still run pretty pretty fast. And unless you're playing like HD games, you don't need to set it that fast. Um, you know, like iPhones, they they actually you know intentionally underclock it down to like really low so it gets a long, longer battery life but you can do it manually so anyway that was a wrap up of the the uh, droid razor um, full throttle killer bean AOKP I highly recommend it again the only problem is the flash is not working on the camera but it does work on camcorder everything else works really well you should get really good battery life with the recommendation I've um, I've told you and do make sure to make sure uh, you make use of the stuff I told you to do in in uh, ROM control and uh, let me know what you think of this ROM you can leave your comments on my site droidraiserroot.com and also don't forget to um, donate to the developer I'll try to find the donate link and put it on my site also very good ROM this guy deserves um, some donations because these guys work you know really Sorry, we got cut off there. Anyway, if you have a um, Droid Razor and uh, you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button up there, and also you can subscribe to my email list at droidrazorroot.com. We update you with ROM of the week once a week, um, sometimes once a month, depending on you know if there's development. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and, and others to get help with your you know with your phone. And uh, uh, you know if you if you have Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus, don't forget to share this video on your accounts there share it with your friends but love it um, highly recommend it great ROM fast jelly bean 4.12 stay high on Android uh, I wish they made a the version called 4.2.0 one day huh